If we want to help people like our colleagues and leaders to understand why performance measurement needs to be done better, we should never start with educating them. Many of our colleagues and managers feel cynical about performance measurement because of their bad past experiences and their current struggles. They aren't ready or open for education about another approach to measurement. We need to engage them in the right kind of dialogue first. We need to give our colleagues new hope, a promise that there is an easier and more meaningful way to measure performance and that doing this will truly transform the organisation. Now the Pump Mind Map exercise is an engaging way to give our colleagues this new hope. The Pump Mind Map is an exercise that I have used many times to warm up executive and operational teams to a fresh and exciting approach to meaningfully measure what matters to them. It's a quick and easy exercise to do and people seem to love its cathartic effect. Now if you want to reignite hope in meaningful performance measurement in your organisation, the Pump Mind Map exercise really is a great starting point. Now before using the Mind Map exercise, we need to decide who we want to influence and therefore who we should invite to do this exercise with us. Now the exercise takes between 30 uh, minutes and an hour. It's ideal to do the activity during uh, a time slot set uh, within an existing meeting, pr preferably one that has to do with planning and goal setting uh, or performance monitoring, uh, so that the people who will attend will be focused on that issue of performance measurement. Now you'll need a whiteboard or if you have a mind mapping app you can use a, a computer and a data projector or a screen. It's important, right from the start of course, to make it clear to those attending that this is not a presentation, it's an interactive discussion. So here's the plan for the discussion that uh, you'll facilitate. So step one is to explain the purpose of the meeting and it should only take about five minutes. As you'd start any meeting, kick off the pump mind map exercise with a, a brief explanation of its purpose. For example, I invited you to join me today to explore a completely different way to develop meaningful performance measures that solves a lot of the problems that we've had in the past. Now the purpose you express of course should be one that resonates with your colleagues so choose your words deliberately. Step two is to discuss and collate the current problems with performance measurement. Now this might take about 10 to 20 minutes on a flip chart or um, a whiteboard or your app, draw the center of the mind map uh, along with eight branches numbered one to eight. Now these eight branches each relate to one of the eight steps in the pump blueprint, uh, but don't introduce pump in any way just yet, although you might wanna have for yourself a cheat sheet diagram in your notes with the eight branches labeled just to remind yourself. Now we'll discuss that in a minute. At the beginning, the discussion should be all about your colleagues' experiences with and their feelings about measuring performance or KPIs. They need to feel the pain before they can be open to a solution. And they need to see the patterns in their pain so they can see the relevance of the solution. So we ask everyone to share their problems, their pain, their challenges with performance measurement. Whatever they've struggled with in the past, whatever they're experiencing now, or whatever they might be concerned could happen in the future. Now you could prompt them uh, with, with questions like, uh, what frustrates you about measuring performance? What challenges are you experiencing with measuring performance? Um, why do people avoid performance measurement activities? Why aren't we getting great value from our performance measures? Now, as each person shares a problem, write it immediately in the mind map, um, attached or linked to the number, of, that is the pump blueprint step, that, that it most relates to. This is where our cheat sheet comes in. Uh, you can refer to it to jog your memory about what the eight steps are and where you might place the different problems that your colleagues share. You only need to do your best. 
And don't worry about perfect allocation of problems to the pump steps. Close enough is absolutely good enough. You can also put a problem on two branches if you can't decide where it should go. It is vital that you use the exact language that your colleagues use when they articulate their problems. Don't try to summarise on the, their behalf or rephrase or, or make their comments briefer. You'll lose the emotion and the personality if you do that. You might even make your colleagues feel a bit uneasy that you're altering their words to achieve um, a particular agenda. So if someone expresses a long complaint, simply ask that person to help you boil it down to a few words so you can get it just right. So here's an example of how the map could look when it's filled in. Now once the ideas start to slow down, acknowledge that you know, everyone might be starting to wonder what those numbers mean. Then you summarise the basic struggle that links to the problems listed on each branch in your map. And you'll use terms that relate to the eight steps um, of pump. So here's a suggestion of words that we use to describe those eight basic challenges. Number one, people have the wrong understanding. Number two, goals are hard to measure. Number three, measures are meaningless. Four, people don't buy in. Five, implementation wastes time and money. Six, we can't agree on interpretation of measures. Seven, reports don't lead to insight or action. And eight, performance is not improving. Now step three is to debrief the discussion and it'll take you about 10 to 20 minutes again. Now is the time to introduce the pump blueprint, explain its eight steps, what they involve and why they're important. Now each step is designed to overcome the majority of struggles that people have with performance measurement, which are the very struggles that your colleagues just mind mapped with you. As part of this debrief, we explain that um, in addition to step four in PUMP, the social side of performance measurement, uh, you know, the politics, buy-in, learning, collaboration, all that, it is managed through each of the remaining eight steps in PUMP as well. So PUMP has become well known for the amount of buy-in that it creates from, from even the most cynical members of an organisation. We also explain how the PUMP blueprint is a framework for a team-based approach to performance measurement and that it is supported with clear instructions and very practical templates that are easy to follow and that work every time. Now then we ask for their feedback, their reactions, their ideas and observations. Get your colleagues to tell you what it all means to them. Now the approach to this entire exercise, including receiving feedback at this point, should be a feeling of holding the space for your colleagues to talk about measurement in an honest and open and different way. Do whatever you can to encourage that. At the end, you can ask or suggest where would be a good place to pilot test the pump approach. And then ask what kind of results your colleagues would like to see to be convinced that pump is a successful way for the organisation to go. You, you could ask them questions like, what kinds of struggles would vanish? What qualities would the new performance measures have? What impact would a new approach to measurement have on executing strategy, on reaching goals and reaching targets? And what would new measures mean for fulfilling the mission and achieving the vision of the organisation? The ideal outcome of the PUMP mind map exercise is a decision, a decision to pilot test PUMP somewhere in your organisation with support from management to monitor the pilot and evaluate its success after those eight steps are complete. Then you can all make an informed decision about whether PUMP can make measuring performance in your organisation faster and easier and more meaningful and, and more engaging. And I'm certain that it will. So who would you involve in a pump mind map exercise to increase the energy to take a better approach to measuring performance? Invite these people to do this exercise with you. And if you want the full instructions for facilitating a pump mind map exercise, go to the description below this video and you'll get the link. Oh, and if you don't know what pump is, then there is also a link in the description uh, to a short video that explains it.